giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. I'm Don West and this is Mediacom News Leaders. I'm joined now by Dedem Koroglu from the Boys and Girls Clubs of Springfield. Dedem, welcome to you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Very special event for the Boys and Girls Club is coming and it, it has to do with the sixth location of the Boys and Girls Clubs uh, here in Springfield. Yes. Uh, so we are embarking on a very uh, exciting adventure. We're opening up our sixth club. Um, in um, it's going to be uh, in 2021 in um, August of 2021 it's called at Williams Elementary and so for that reason we are going to be having a fundraiser this Friday March 6th called the Great Elixir Mixer so it's going to be a fun event we have a craft cocktail competition happening it's at the Old Glass Place and it will start at 7 p.m. Mixtapes is performing so you're going to be sampling craft cocktails and it's just going to be a fun event so at V. Williams uh, Elementary School is on West Kearney Street in Northwest Springfield, and that's an area that the club has needed to reach out to and have a presence in, right? Yes, um, we will be serving 200 additional kids that we have not been able to serve. And we're uh, really excited to be part of this project. Um, SBS will be open, uh, is doing a reconstruction of Williams Elementary and they approached us and said we would love to have you as our partner uh, for after, sc after school programming and so uh, with that construction we will be building a, uh, a rebuilding a new club there and um, it's going to be um, as I said um, just um, will provide a safe environment for kids uh, after school before school and so we're pretty excited about this opportunity kind of along the same model as Sherwood Elementary in Correct. Southwest Springfield. Correct. And it's the same model. Um, we, as I said, we have currently five clubs and we operate many different um, types of uh, units. So for example, we have our traditional unit, which would be kind of like the Stallnaker unit where it's a standalone club. We also have Fremont Elementary, which opened up in August where we provide after school programming right there in the elementary school rather than building a club. And then our most successful club model has been the Sertoma model where kids from the elementary school naturally transition into the after school, uh, after school program. And so the Williams project will be the same type of model that we have at Sherwood Elementary Sertoma unit. And another fundraising effort along this line is Club Blue. Tell me what that is. Yes. So we wanted to connect more with our young professionals in our area. So we launched Club Blue, which is a networking opportunity uh, for our young professionals in our community. So we launched that last uh, week uh, with an informational session. I can say that we're going to have a lot of energetic young professionals who will be intentionally doing some volunteer opportunities and some fundraising opportunities for our clubs. And their main mission will be the Williams Project to be able to raise funds, especially operating funds after the capital campaign is over and we built this club. And so this is for, if people joke, what's the age limit? We can always find you opportunities for people to serve, <laughs> so it's not the age limit. But this is geared towards to get more of the young professionals to be involved in intentional ways because we heard loud and clear a lot of people who want to be engaged with community projects and from different organizations and so we're giving them that opportunity. And that uh, Ed B. Williams project is going to be a pretty extreme makeover from uh, Springfield Public Schools. It's an old elementary school yes. on the northwest side of town and it's needed uh, some updating and uh, sounds like it's going to get it. The club is going to be a part of what, the old library now? Yes, um, so the old library will, of what is now um, at uh, Williams Elementary will be turned into a club. So what the heart of a club is, the game room, for example. So you will find the very first thing, so the, the game room and two actually additional um, workspaces. And we also have a room that will be de dedicated for mental health services, which is a very big part of this project. So um, children who go to the club will be able to receive that type of care as well. And then we will be using shared space um, through the gym and the cafeteria um, with the school system. So it's a win-win situation for all. 
The club website is bgclubspringfield.org for information about uh, these projects and uh, how to get your kid involved with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Springfield. Another great expansion for the club. The sixth unit uh, will be opening in 2021 at Ed V. Williams uh, Elementary. DDM, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. And join us next time here on Mediacom News Leader.